Good morning. It's Saturday. You're getting started a day late this week on the vlog. Sorry about that. And um, we've got all kinds of stuff going on today. I am going to get my hair colored. You can tell it's really, really overdue. And timers are going off. And then we are going to um, have friends over later today and play some tabletop games and stuff. So we're really looking forward to that. Brian is making the falafel from Trader Joe's. We've showed that a few times. And he also made some mushroom stir fry for breakfast with some onions. That's for my frittata. Oh, that's for your frittata. I thought that was breakfast. Oops. He's also making that frittata that you've seen him make in the Instant Pot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cook us eggs for breakfast. I am back from getting my hair done. Feels good to have the highlights touched up. I actually get my hair cut every other time I go and I go like every two months to get the highlights. So every four months I get a cut. You can't really tell when it grows or doesn't grow. I mean, over years you could, but not over months because of the curl. So I figure save the money on the in-between time. And we have been spending the rest of the morning sort of tidying up. Uh, we didn't have to do major cleaning, but just tidying up a little because our friends are coming over. And also, Brian set up the game. I think we're going to play um, Valeria. There's the name of the game. So he's got everything set up here. And we've done a little food prep. We're not doing anything fancy. We're going to make some crab dip in a bit. But otherwise, we're keeping it pretty simple. Can't wait. We have some deer in the backyard today. We count three total. I can only see two on the phone, but there are three out there. Came over to a different room to get a different angle. Uh oh, something startled when I saw its tail go up. So some of you said you're surprised the deer didn't eat the pumpkins. <laughs> pumpkins are still there decomposing near where the deer are, but they are definitely not eating those. <laughs> they have to be beyond disgusting now. Yep, definitely three. It has literally been raining for days here. I have lost track. It's been so many days and it's been raining pretty much constantly and overcast and cold. It's been in the 40s. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 72 here. And I think it's supposed to clear up some. They're saying maybe thunderstorms, which is kind of weird in February, but uh, you can see the corner of our yard over there. It's kind of turned into a swamp and there's also a swamp right back there in the woods. Um, it is so wet, so wet. Here's the awesome spread for tonight, and we also have crab dip, yum. All right, we've got our margaritas and we've got oh. Valeria out, so we're ready to get started. Man. I will admit it took us a long time to add up the <laughs> score, probably way too long, but Beverly was our winner. We think anyway, we haven't totally revealed, but. <laughs> Still adding. Still adding. Still adding. I got him. This was quite the flashback on Right Man. Hey guys, it's Monday and I wasn't able to film on Sunday because I had a migraine. I didn't have it all day, but I got it during the day. Um, before I got it, however, I was able to test a new toy, if you want to call it that. I got a piece of equipment. Um, Mike Karshti, and we did a video together, I'll link to it up there, um, had mentioned to me when I was talking about buying snorkeling gear for our cruise, um, which we'll announce at a later date, the cruise that is, um, that there were masks that had a GoPro holder on them. So I looked for that and found a very inexpensive one on Amazon. There were some very expensive ones, but I found one that was not expensive. The brand is Telesin, T-E-L-E-S-I-N. And I can't remember the exact price, but I want to say it was around $20, a little more, a little less, can't remember, but it wasn't super expensive. I tried it out yesterday in our bathtub, which I know that's kind of funny, but I needed a place to try it. And we have a really big garden tub, so I had enough room <laughs> to actually try it out. If any of that footage turned out, I will show it. I haven't had time to look at it yet. I'll show it here while I'm talking. Um, but it's, it really works well. It stayed on, it did not leak. The mask part didn't leak. The GoPro stays firmly attached. Um, I'm super impressed, especially considering how inexpensive. So thanks Mike for the tip because I needed to buy a mask anyway. Um, all I have is normal swim goggles that you wear to do laps. I didn't have a snorkeling mask. So very, very happy that I ended up with this one because most of the snorkeling masks cost pretty much the same and didn't have the GoPro mount. And this one seems to work really well. Here's what the mask looks like. And before you ask me, I cannot remember if it came in different colors. I want to say no, but don't quote me on that. It might, might come in different colors. 
and I always buy the cheapest color. If you look on Amazon, a lot of times when things come in different colors, one color is much cheaper than the other, and a lot of times it's pink, <laughs> because I think that not as many people want pink stuff. I could care less. So if it did come in multiple colors, that's why I got this one, because it was the cheapest. And so the GoPro just mounts right here, just like any other standard GoPro mount. Um, and like I said, it worked beautifully. And now, just keep in mind, not all the GoPros are waterproof. Um, I mean, if you have an older model, make sure it's waterproof um, in and of itself without an external case. Um, the new one, the one I have, is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. is definitely waterproof. I've already tested that before now. And it also came with this handy hard case to put the mask on. Um, I was impressed with that as well. So pretty neat. Hey guys, it's Thursday and they have announced a ton of information about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Uh, lots of details, anything from costumes to food to more details about the attractions, uh, lots and lots of details. So that part is exciting to me. Um, I will not be one of the people running out right when it opens. Um, I think it will just be crazy. And also an article came out by WDWNT uh, on um, their website, New, I think it's News Today. Go check that out. They're talking about that Disney is supposedly going to, or considering charging for fast passes for Galaxy's Edge. This does not surprise me at all. Do I like it? No. But does it surprise me? No. They're saying there will still be regular fast passes available but they'll be very limited, meaning they're going to sell most of them and just leave a very few for a few lucky people to grab. Um, I think that is not going to be nice. Uh, it sounds like, almost to me, like you're going to have to pay if you want to not stand a standby, and that's a bummer. Um, but we'll see. Uh, it's just a rumor at this point, but leave in the comments what you think about that. What's your opinion on that? I'm curious. And also, anything you think about the information that came out, you know, if you're into Star Wars and or Disney and you're excited about this, I definitely am. Um, I'll be curious to see even more stuff. Like, the costumes came out and they said they're for Disneyland, but I don't know if they would have difference for Disney World. If they don't, I think the cast members are going to die of heat. Like, it, it, they just look hot to me. It's hard to tell what material they're made of, but they look they look really hot. Because, as you guys know, in the summer, early fall, um, late spring even, Disney can be really miserable. But especially the summer and, and early fall is really brutal. So, I'm hoping that... Some of the costumes are either specific to Disneyland or they're for the indoor attractions only. Um, but the, usually the cast members rotate outside and inside, you know, because they always have someone outside to do fast passes and stuff like that. Um, some of those costumes look hot to me. Um, they look cool, but they look hot. So check out all the news if you haven't already and let me know what you think in the comments. That's going to wrap up this week's weekly vlog, and tomorrow we'll start the next week. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure!